Welcome to Texas Law Encounters, your home for raw police footage. Consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more police interactions and feel free to leave your comments below. Remember, all suspects are innocent until proven guilty. Enjoy the video. On November 16, 2017, officers with the Houston Police Department were dispatched to the scene of an ongoing case of criminal mischief. A caller had reported a woman had stolen his car the other day and is now throwing stuff at him. Take a listen for yourself. Houston, now we you need medical police or fire. Police. You still need an officer to come out? Yeah, I need him to come down for me to try to get away. Uh, he should come back. Okay. What's the address? I'm throwing shit at my car. If you need an officer to come out, we need the address. What are you reporting, sir? Uh, this female throwing my property and stuff, man, acting all crazy and stuff. Does she have any mental issues? I don't know what's wrong with her. Mm -hmm. Mama just put her in jail Saturday. What is she damaging? Is she damaging your vehicle so or your house? She just sold something at my vehicle I'm trying to follow. But now she's going down the street. She's going down the street. I want to ask prostitutes. Is she black, white, or Hispanic? Black. How tall is she? About five, six. Skinny, medium, or heavy? Medium. Because the clothes that she wearing. She got on a gray t-shirt and some blue jeans. Hello? Yeah. Police unit will be dispatched. Thank you, sir. Seven zero. Are you clearing the last call? I'm gonna talk to the girl. Talk to the guy. Right. He came here. Okay. Come talk to me over here. Relationship. He came here. Come talk to me. He came here, putting his hands on me, calling me bitches and hoes, punching on me, calling me bitches and hoes. Can you come over here? And this is he smokes crack. Okay. He smokes okay. crack. Okay. Calm down. Look at me. Don't look. Don't look yeah, at me. I was in. I was asleep, ma'am. His okay. name Fernando. Okay. And I do, ha I fuck with him, and when in a relationship, he smoke crack, and uh, this is his utensils and stuff he used. He came in here, putting his hands on me. I was in his house asleep. I had gave him money to uh, put gas in his car, and he came in here, and I was asleep. He asleep, and I put it on guard, and he came in here punching on me, calling me bitches and hoes. And he came in here, putting his hands on me, calling me bitches and hoes, okay, and he how, came here. How did he hit you? He, he came in here punching on me. Like he punched clo close fence? Fish, yeah, close fence. All right, how many times did he hit you? He hit me about 10 times. You, where were you at? You were sleeping, I was sleeping on the, couch in, the or in the bed? I put it on guard. He smoked crack, and this is his, his stuff. He smoked crack. He got crack so pipes in there. I didn't do nothing. Did I want to press charges on him. Yeah, All I want to do is leave listen, his house. Can you, can you stop for a second? Yes. Okay. Now, did you throw anything at his car? No, I that? didn't do nothing. I didn't break nothing in so there. We had a physically fight. So y'all both fought each other? Yes. And he, he called, came there and put his hands on me. I was in there asleep. I put it on guard. Okay, so he put his hands yes. on you. And he came then... there punching on me. Okay, so then after that, you hit him back? Yes, I hit him back. Okay, do you have an ID or anything? Uh, my ID, that's what I'm saying. My ID and everything was taken. This this is the problem. There's my not, ID was there's stolen. There's not an ID in your purse? I don't have nothing. My ID was stolen from his house. My ID and my social. He's a crackhead. My ID was stolen. I, I, I don't have no warrants. My name is Marie Cooper. Uh, I, I just got out of jail for trust case for me and my mom had uh, some stuff going on, but I don't have no warrants. This man came here punching on me. All right, spell your first name for me. M-A-R-I-E. He came here putting his hands on me. That's why I'm Spray sweating. Last name? Cooper. He came C -O -O here. C-O-O? Yes, ma'am. P-E-R? Yes, ma'am. He came What's here. What's your date of birth? He came here. He smokes crack. Okay, I see, that. I see that. And he got crack pipes in there. What's your phone number? Uh, my number is, uh, 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 yeah. You yeah, for my protection. You? He came here putting his hands on me. Oh, uh, don't start yelling at them. Yeah. Uh, where's your pocket knife? In at? my hand. It's in your hand? Yes. Yes. All right, let me see your pocket knife. It's in my hand. He came oh, here what? punching on me. What? I didn't use it on let him me, or let nothing. Me, let me just get it. No, don't, don't grab it. Go for my protection. He came here punching on me. He put his hands on me. He put his hands on me. Stop yelling. He called me a bitch and punched on me. He punched on me. He he went off on me for nothing. Do you have any other weapons on you? Nothing. That was for my protection. He I'm came gonna, I'm gonna there. I'm gonna pat you down real fast, okay? Huh? I'm gonna pat you down real fast. I don't have nothing. That man came there and, 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 and started beating me up. Was that just money? 
Yeah, that's money. He came there and put his hands on me. That's his stuff. He smokes crack. What's his phone? What's your phone number again? Three. I was in that sleep, ma'am. His name is Fernando. We we met in a relationship, and I, I was in that sleep. I gave him money to, uh, for gas in his car, and he came in there punching on me. I was in that sleep. He came in there fighting on me. Okay, so that's what caused the altercation and calling me bitches and hoes. Okay, so how did the knife come out? Because he put his hands on me. I know, but I'm saying, how did it lead to that point? Because he put his hands Where on me. Where was it at? Huh? Where was the knife at? In my purse. I grabbed it for protection. Okay, so he hit you, then you grabbed the knife. You punched him back. Yeah. Then grabbed the knife. And he walked out of his happened? house. Yeah. Okay, and then you walked out? I was out? scared for my life. Yeah. Okay, so then why were you back inside the house whenever Because we came in? I was letting y'all know that he smoked crack and stuff. He paid me now. He put his hands on me. I want to let y'all know what type of life he lived. He came there abusing me. I want to let y'all know. I, that's why I was in his house, to let y'all know what he do. He came okay. there punching on me. I was in there asleep. Okay. Can I see your purse real fast? Yes, you can. Hey, man, what's going on? That's fair. She ain't got no words, though. Okay. I've been letting this Is that your girl? No, no. Y'all, y'all. She's a whole group. Okay, okay. And, uh, so you're trying to, out of kindness of your heart, you're letting us stay. Well, I know her. Okay. You know, but, yeah, I'm a kindness of my heart, but she come in, four, five, I got to go to work, 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 you know, I'm in between jobs. I asked him to leave. I thought you had to be, if you had to be at work, how are you in between jobs? I am. I just, from now, start Monday. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I asked her, you know, hey, man, do this. You know, running the air conditioning. It's just for the bed, bro. I call yeah. on the air conditioning on. You know, she don't pay no bills. You know, she got lights on, air conditioning running. Yesterday, she took my car. Yeah. I called y'all yesterday. Okay. Okay. The day I come home, I come home, she jumped up, took my heat and throw it. Busted up my TV and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's my only entertainment. You know, yeah. She feel like she justified herself. But you stay. But how long has she been staying there? She really don't. She might come one, two nights out of a week. Okay. So she. But for how long has you been letting her come one or two nights out of the week? About two weeks. About two weeks. So so she may be out of two weeks. Yeah, gonna say. Uh, well, I'm just trying to figure out how long she's uh, to see if she's established residency. No, she ain't established. So she. So, she so got you, nothing in there. So what she got on right. Okay. Now. So for two weeks. And so maybe four days out of two weeks she's been here? Yeah. Okay. You have your ID? It's in the property room downtown. <laughs> okay. Did you hit, hit her, assault her? No, she pulled a knife out. She put a knife out? Big face. So she pulled a knife out and big face you? No, I big face her when she pulled the knife. Oh, okay. What type of knife was it? It's a big a pocket knife? Open. It's a big old knife. Where is it at? She got it. Where's it at on her? Hey, Noah. Noah, she should have a big pocket knife on her. Yeah. Yeah. For my protection. He came here putting his hands on me. Yeah. She bipolar song. It's like a it's like a big one in her purse. Yeah. What time did this happen at? Just a few minutes ago? Yeah. So you came home and she, you let me let me, let me let me replay what I what I heard you say, and uh, when I'm done, you can tell me if I'm kind of right or wrong. So you came home, and you were cons you were kind of upset because she had the AC going, lights on. She's not really paying any bills, contributing. Um, so that's what kind of started this whole little argument. Uh, you asked her to leave. Yeah. You asked her to leave. What what happened then? Did she say, "All right, I'm gonna get out," or would she refuse to leave? What, what happened then? She feels in so many words, she ain't going anywhere. Okay. And, and grabbed a knife, I big face though. She grabbed the knife and opened it? She didn't get it open. She didn't get it open? Okay. And what, did she say anything when she had it? Was trying to open it or did she say anything with it? Oh, uh, she talking about her daddy died. She tired of people fucking with her. Okay. And then, so you, you pushed her yeah. and then she left or what? 
She came, I went in, I know she busted up the TV and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. She busted the TV, what else? You wanna know show me? Hey, Noel. I'm gonna go inside real quick and see all the damaged stuff. Yeah. No one else inside? Okay, and what is, is this the heater? How much is a TV worth? TV, I got it from about 220. 220. Nitro is 25. How big is it? Uh, I would say 30. Probably looks like a 32. 30, 30, 30. 30. Okay, the heater. How much? How much is that worth? Okay. I don't think you need a heater anytime soon. Yeah. The, the things are bent. Is that it? Is that what she broke? Yeah, she just throw some shit up against the house. Shit. Okay. So that's all I know. She did most of the damage in the bed. Just uh, stand over here by your car. What I'm going to jail for? Criminal mischief. He put his hands on me. Y'all gonna take me to jail? Are you serious? Don't go anywhere. Hey Charles, they're changing the aircraft. We're gonna have one female detain. I don't think I can. There, we have one female detain. Seven, 
just need to move on. You just slow it down. Pass, please, sir. Voice now, I'll call back. All right, sir. The DA took criminal mischief charges. Mm -hmm. So the DA took charges. Mm -hmm. um, this is going to be your case number. And this is mine and my partner's name and our unit number in today's date. Okay. All right. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Y'all deserve y'all day. Good day, officer. Red, a red domino is my cousin, and there's two more officers. There's law enforcement, my little nephews, Simeons, that's in the law enforcement. Y'all got me fucked up, and y'all got me fucked up. Yeah, it's okay though. Yes, ma'am. It's all right. Yeah. It's all right. Simeons, big baby. Yeah. Two more officers. And law enforcement. Yeah. It's all right. It's a, it's a man. It's a high buzz. I ain't know you cry no more. I ain't know you cry no more. Hey, this is what y'all want to do to get y'all money. That's fine with me. I ain't know you cry because I'm a big girl. Shit, big girls don't cry. My mama told me that. 43-year-old Marie Cooper was arrested on one misdemeanor count of criminal mischief and spent 10 days in Harris County Jail. Fans of the channel might recognize her from a previous video where she was arrested for trespassing while trying to see her kids. Please. I need you to pray. Y'all don't take me. Y'all need y'all to fucking crack me and put his hands on me. Y'all don't take me. Criminal bitch shit. Say some blue and shit. Thanks for watching Texas Law Encounters. Your support makes this possible. If you want to see more police interactions, consider subscribing to the channel or check out the videos on your screen. We'll see you in the next one.